Hello YouTube. Okay, if you landed on this video, there's a really good chance you are interested in seeing test footage or learning how to use the GoPro 7 in the time warp function. What is time warp? It's an interesting term that GoPro came up with. It's basically another way to say hyperlapse. What is a hyperlapse? So if you've been visiting this channel for a long time, you know that I love time lapses. You know, time lapse of the clouds, time lapse of the sun rising, all that good stuff. Well, a hyperlapse is a moving time lapse. So you're actually moving through a cityscape or up a mountain or what have you. So the GoPro 7 is capable of capturing a hyperlapse, what they're calling a time warp, through their new features on the GoPro 7. And I happened to test it today, the time warp, on while using a gimbal. So in theory, the footage and the video should be extra, extra smooth. We're about to see that in one second, but before we dive into that, I wanna show you guys how to actually get to the time warp uh, feature within the camera. It takes one second to figure it out. So if you're looking at the back of the GoPro 7, the power button is on the right side toward the bottom on the side there. Once you're at the main screen, you're gonna to wanna to swipe to the left and then select time lapse. And then in the lower left hand corner, there's gonna be a little, a little circle. Click that circle with your finger and then select time warp video. Once you're in those settings, you're gonna be able to select the resolution. So 4K or 2.7K and then also the speed of the, the filming of the time warp. So it's like two times, five times, 10, 15, all the way up to 30 times speed for the time warp. And today, the footage you're about to watch, I did 4K resolution, wide point of view, and yes, 30 times speed for the recording. All right, shall we dive in? Shall we dive in? Let's go see what it looks like in downtown Denver on the 16th Street Mall. So the 16th Street Mall is pretty busy. A lot of tourists go there and a lot of workers drop down from the office buildings to grab lunch. So I always like like finding things that are moving in a hyperlapse situation so that you can record movement. So the bus is coming by and the people walking, like that's really good for the human eye to have that movement. So when you're thinking about your hyperlapse video to record or your time warp video to record, keep that in mind. I went up some stairs, buy some flower beds, up more stairs at the beautiful state capitol. eventually hopped on a bus for a quick ride back to my car. There you go. That was the time warp. What did you think? How did the footage look? Was it is it interesting to the human eye? If you've been watching this vlog for a long time, a long time. I tried a hyperlapse video in New York City. I'll try and find that vlog and link it up there. I'll try try to remember, try and find it. We were talking like over two years ago. I tried this, not with a GoPro, with this camera. It was really hard, but I think I did okay. So what did you think of the GoPro 7 on the gimbal in the time warp video mode? What'd you think? So frankly, you don't need a gimbal to record a time warp video. I just wanted to give it a shot and see what it looked like. And I'm curious to hear your thoughts but there's plenty of other people who have done a time warp video, uh, some really great ones out there, uh, but they did not use a gimbal, they just used their hand. So it can be done without a gimbal, but to get that extra smooth, extra saucy footage, I thought it was pretty cool to try a gimbal. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you. Thanks for taking the time and learn a little bit about the time warp feature on the GoPro 7. Drop a comment down below, type smooth. Let me know you made it this far, type smooth. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much for doing that. And if you're new, if this is your first time on this channel, welcome. This is a daily vlog channel where I publish a lot 
and it's not a tech review, not a gear review, but after filming for 900 days, I've learned a thing or two, and I want to share that knowledge with you, and I have filmed some other GoPro videos. Go check those out, and of course, if you want to see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button, and I'd love to connect with you down in the comments. Like, that's what it's all about for me. All right, signing off. Thanks for being here, and we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, ciao.